אוקיי. Welcome back to another installment of Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality TV, and more as we go down the rabbit hole, all in five minutes or less. I'm going to try my best. Pastor and family stole $8 million from taxpayers in COVID scam. Fed say, why haven't they been charged? That is an interesting question. I guess the pastor is saying, where would I be if it wasn't the Lord on my side? <laughs> Federal agents in Florida have been seeking to answer, uh, seeking to question rather Evan Edwards, a pastor and his family for days when a Mercedes SUV was spotted speeding on I-75 north of Gainesville. The Edwards were Christian missionaries from Canada who lived in Turkey for many years and moved to Florida in 2019. On paper, they ran a faith-based charity with a high-minded mission to communicate Christian love and doctrine and service to the poor. Aren't we tired of seeing so much of our poor people being taken advantage of? You know, the church really is supposed to be the house of prayer, is it not? But it's become a den of thieves. A lot of people just taking advantage of the simple minded folks. Um, and not to say that anything is wrong with going to church. I've been in church many years. There's some good churches and some not so good churches. Some people see it as a way to take advantage of people's inability to think for themselves. Um, it's a really sad thing here. Now, these guys, this family is off the hook. Um, let's just get into what they did. So basically, um, the family of four, they caught them in a the car, but you got to check out what they had going on. Let's get into that really quick. So uh, the Evers Beige Mercedes was pulled over by three Florida Highway Patrol. All four members were inside. So everybody's inside. Everybody's grown. These are all grown folks, right? So they began searching the Mercedes. What they found indicated that this was not a typical road trip. Edwards, seated in the front passenger seat, had a laser printer on his lap. In a rear passenger seat next to his wife and daughter were two clear garbage bags full of shredded documents, according to the complaint. The family's personal electronic devices were stuffed into a so-called Faraday bag, which blocks radio frequencies to keep from being tracked. There were also suitcases full of financial records two other Faraday bags with laptops and tablets inside, a document shredder, and multiple backpacks containing external hard drives and USB drives, according to the complaint. They also had a 49-page research manual published by the Bureau of Justice related to tracing money flows through financial institution. Like These guys are just complete criminals using the name of God. Complete criminals and well, well, well-thinking criminals. Like these people really have thought this through like this was like a serious heist you know this this happened so much but yet though as we look here you know other people who have been suspected of covid fraud have actually been hit with criminal charges despite being accused of far less money for example vermont man was arrested and charged after he fraudulently obtained fifty five thousand in loans he was sentenced to two years probation which is weird two years probation you stole fifty five thousand that's very light but then a Georgia man was sentenced to three years in prison after he was convicted of fraudulently filing for two point six million. Right. But the most compelling thing of this is their amount that they uh, and of course, we know it's eight million. But like how they were smart yet dumb at the same time, because the Edwards received more than eight million after Josh filed paperwork falsely claiming that their ministry, Aslan International Ministry, putting you on blast had 486 employees in a monthly payroll of 2.7 million. Like, how dumb can you be? Like, you're a church. What the heck is y'all doing at the church to be able to generate that kind of payroll? Like, take it easy. Go light. You could have, you know, could have got off with maybe a couple of hundred, maybe a hundred thousand a month. You know, something reasonable that don't really, you know, it doesn't really cause uh, room for alarm. Like when you take it to an extreme, it's like these people always get caught. But I guess maybe the intention was, okay, we get this eight million dollars and we'll bounce, go out the country, 
hence why they were shredding all these documents making sure that you can't find any trace of them and they can just move on so maybe that was the plan i don't know that's my thoughts let me know what you think in the comments like share subscribe and let's do better people yeah let's do better and stop using the name of god to make money all right stop doing that.